On today's vlog, I want to show you how to location scout to get the perfect images when the light is absolutely gorgeous. Let's get right into it. G'day Blay Legends, thank you for joining me for another vlog. Today, it's a little bit different on location scouting because tonight we've got sunset. Tonight, again, we've got the Milky Way and then tomorrow morning we've got the sunrise. That happens every day as well, which is actually a pretty cool fact. What I'm thinking is three images, one for sunset, one for the Milky Way and one for sunrise. But I don't want to sort of overlap and be very similar. So I want to do something with the Elders Rangers in the background, I'm thinking panoramic. Then in the morning, I'm thinking Wilpena Pound, the beautiful, famous Wilpena Pound. And then from the Milky Way, I've actually been up to this lookout here, Puget's Lookout. And I didn't even want to come here and photograph, but I've changed my plans, just rewrote what I want to do to photograph from that mountain tonight and sleep up there. This really inspires me. It's going to come to life when the sun's setting. Those colors are going to be so vivid, it's incredible. And this beautiful Wilpena Pound view is one of the best views I've seen by foot not by air, so I want to capture that. And as I was going up to the Pugilus Point, I seen over here a very old creek bed. That is going to be a foreground element. So that's going to be image number one. The second one is the Milky Way image because I just love bloody Milky Way photography. And thirdly is Elder, uh, Elder's Range, which is in the background just here. Because I am struggling to find a composition going that way. But that's why we're here at Location Scaring. So now, we're going to explore this little old creek bed to find a composition for tomorrow morning sunrise. So I know I did say this Elder's viewpoint was priority number three, but I'm, I'm very interested in this because I am thinking right now a lot about this creek bed. I want to photograph this creek bed for sunrise tomorrow. But being on this little platform here, being sort of mid-tier, being halfway through, gives me a really good aspect to almost shoot sort of two by one. So still getting that panoramic feel to it. But I, I really want to try and diversify the photography from today and tomorrow for that sunrise because tomorrow I'm going to definitely shoot this uh, creek bed because it did run last year so it's given me great structure, great feel. But here it does, it does look a little bit different, it's greener this way for sure, very different background so maybe this could work but maybe even using something as a foreground element in this. So what I like to do with this, get my phone out, take some pictures of sort of what I'm viewing, what I'm looking at but the best red hot tip I can give you is you need to think in focal ranges. So already I'm thinking about the 35 to 50 mil for this particular image, but tomorrow morning I'm thinking a lot about wide angles, that sort of 14 to 16 millimeters. So that's where you really need to think when you use location scan. I don't carry a camera, a tripod or anything around. I can just think practically and know, all right, this image is gonna work pretty well between 16 and 20 mil. And then the next stage, we're gonna get a camera and tripod out and set it up and see how it works. But if you're ever out here in the Aussie Outback, one thing is to notice everything can bloody kill you. So one red hot tip I can give you is walk on these sheep tracks because you can see where you're going. If you didn't know, in the past life, sheep used to be photographers. They know exactly where to go to get the best compositions. So now I'm gonna follow these goat tracks, sheep tracks and see where they take us, basically. Love to have used this big cutout just here as the water gushing forward and just smashing all this ledge away. Especially because the, the sunrise will be coming over my shoulder here, lighting up this face part. But the number one thing I want from this composition is the leading line of this river going straight into the middle of Wapena, and that doesn't do it. So unfortunately, it's not going to be part of this composition. Just to give you an idea of how high and how much water would be smashing down through this valley, I'm a six foot. So that is well on six, three, six, four. There's a lot of bloody water for a bloody dry outback. So interesting, although it doesn't work going into a peanut, we'll get the other side and look, a second composition for the eldest range for a sunset, especially because I can know exactly where the sun's gonna set. That's gonna light that up perfectly. So I think elders look out, we've got two compositions I'm happy with. And a third would be up top, simple power up if we have to. But now I wanna keep looking for this exclusive image to shoot Will Painter. Whew, I'm gonna get it. I'm going to get it. Okay, still no luck. I found this second creek, a little bit smaller, a lot shallower. 
didn't work out again. But I, I did like it because it's got these trees that are above sort of the, the creek bed itself, which would really pop with the color. But I love this composition, but it doesn't lead to anything. It's so annoying. Give you an estimation on time. I've been searching for about two hours now. I think I found two compositions for tonight. So down about an hour and a half of location scouting. So you want good images? Do this. It's not fun. Not fun at all, but it pays off. And my last glimmer of hope. I've walked a long way. There's another point out here that goes more towards it. Got more images going back that way than I do this way. This is priority one, but that's my location scout, man. It's definitely better. It's, it's definitely a lot wider on either side, but it goes more directional to the to Alpina, that's for sure. All right, so I also love this composition, but I hate that tree there and that tree there on the other side. They stick up into the ranges too much. I don't like that. I really want to emphasize the color in those ranges. So I'm going to try and get the other side of that and see what we can find. All right, so this is the composition I've settled on for tonight's image, but it's too right-hand dominant. So I'm going to photograph from basically there to around that side. But you can see just this area here, there's a bit too much dead space. So what I'm gonna have to do is try and find an area back over here somewhere where therefore I can shift this part of the image into the middle so it evens out. That side, the creek runs. To that side, the creek runs. And we have a Mickey Mouse image. Let's go. So we have our image there. Probably till there. The problem that I've got is where I am standing. Because if I walk away, how am I gonna photograph on that tiny thing with a tripod? That may be interesting. But we've got a composition, we can work on that. That is one thing. Now, I wanna have a look at this image once again for tomorrow morning's image because that is stressing me out, man. So now I am pretty confident with the two compositions for tonight and tomorrow morning. Tonight's image, I don't really want to show you that because I'm going to try something new and I'm very excited about it and I don't really want to give away the location. So you're probably going to have to drop below and subscribe. But now I want to walk around with a 16 to 55. Now this might sound stupid and I know I'm probably going to get a lot of stupid comments with this, but you need to see focal lengths. And I can walk around and pretty much shoot at 135 mil in my head. And that's just because of years of experience. And yeah, it sounds stupid, I know, but I can tell with these images, they're all gonna be shot between 16 and 55 focal range. Okay, composition is down. 23 mil is sort of the perfect sweet spot and that can change between 18 to 25 mil. And that depends on the sky because that rule of third, I want more penis sitting at the top rule, top one third to give it that dominance feel of how big it is. But this sort of open area of two thirds to feel how barren the outback of South Australia is. So if we do get a bit of a pink sky in the morning, I do want to pull out a little bit and shoot maybe the 18mm to emphasise that foreground. But I'll be really careful because when I pull that out, we'll paint it, we'll get smaller with the composition. Here are those two images now to understand what I'm talking about. but it's so unsafe and I'm not in a financial position or any sort of position to hurt myself or hurt my gear. If I lose this camera ring lens, I will lose it for 12 months. I don't have any money to replace that. So I don't know if that's gonna work. And also I'm quite frustrated at myself that I'm finding the same similar composition for tomorrow morning and tonight, but it's completely different outcome of images. So how it is. I might go around the corner. I've got about 15 minutes I have to shoot next vlog for this particular image, but that is a little bit unsafe, I think. You might have to tune in for next week's video to find out exactly what I shoot. But let's try and find a second composition. Four hours later and we have found our composition. I'm super pumped. I'm about to hang up this call and go and get my gear ready for next week's vlog. But I want to show you a little bit of a teaser of what you can expect on next week's series.
So there you have it guys, next week's video is going to be an absolute bloody belter, so make sure to subscribe for that one. But I hope you've learned something from today's vlog, some tips and tricks when I'm out location scouting for sunrise, sunset photography, night photography. If you want to see more of this sort of behind the scenes sort of stuff, I've enjoyed making it, so make sure to let me know in the comments below. But if you are struggling with your photography, make sure to drop a like in the description. Also, there's an online photography membership course, only $9.99 per month. There's monthly giveaways, there's weekly tutorials, tips, tricks, and also access to all my courses to learn night landscape and photo editing on there for only nine dollars no, no, it's cheaper than a big mac meal at macca's so it's laughing if you want to learn photography but now i'm going to get my main gear set up for this vlog it's going to be an absolute ripper so make sure to subscribe guys and i'll see you here next week ciao